Yo, people, what's going on? It's Eagle Talks Football, and I'm back again with another video. And today, what we're going to be talking about is the Arsenal potential confirmed home kit, away kit, and third kit. Let's get into it, people. If you guys don't already know, this is Eagle Talks Football. My name's Eagle. Make sure you do hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. And let's get into these kits and talk about what the kits look like, what they're going to be, and how they're going to look. So, first things first, we have the home kit. The new potential home kit, this is it right here, ladies and gentlemen. It's a red kit with a gold lining, zigzags on the, in the middle, and white uh, writing. And, of course, you're going to have the Visit Rwanda and whatever Premier League badge color we get. If we get the gold one, of course, that means we were Premier League champions. This kit has been confirmed. It will be worn on the final day of the season versus Wolves and Arsenal and Adidas have confirmed that this will be the new Arsenal kit. Let me know what you guys think about this kit rated out of 10. For me, I originally had it as a 6, but now I've moved it up to an 8. It looks a lot better than I thought, and I really do appreciate the fact that they're commemorating the Invincible season with this kit. It does look a lot better than I originally thought. The original, I thought the kit was going to look like this originally, but they've come out and they've said that it's going to have more of those zigzaggy lines on the kit. Hmm. Not bad if you ask me, not bad. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Just take a look at that right now. Take a look at that kit right now. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you think. Then we're gonna go to the next kit. I just need to take a, you guys just need to take a second and just look at this kit. Take a second and just look at this kit. Oh my days. What is this? What on earth is this? The actual kit is going to look like. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan at all. I think this kit does not look like a kit that I would want to buy. First of all, it's massively yellowish, greenish. It has those zigzags. And I just don't know how it's going to look on the players. Now, there have been some edits to show us what it might look like on some players, but I'm not the biggest fan of this kit. If I was going to rate this kit, I would give this kit... Uh, I'll give this kit a 5 out of 10. I give it a pass, but just a 5 out of 10. I don't think it's one of the most appealing kits. It doesn't look that good. And with Bukayo Saka wearing it right here, he does make it look a little better, but still. And if that is the sock style also... I'm not really a fan overall. I think this kit is one of our worst kits Adidas have made for us. Puma made some terrible kits, but Adidas, this is your first L on your on your record books. So let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this kit right here. Going back quickly to um, the first home kit, um, just to show you guys the home kit again, um, I gave this kit, I'm going to upgrade it up to an 8. I originally gave it a 6, upgraded to a 7. Now I've upgraded to an 8. I, the more and more I see it, the more and more I'm warming to this kit and the more it looks better and better. So the home kit for me gets an 8 out of 10. This is where it's controversial. Some people hate it. Some people love it. But the third kit is going to be green. Yes, the third kit is going to be green, ladies and gentlemen. It is going to be green with the with the bluish, navyish, dark blue arms. And it's going to have the white riding, white badge, white Adidas, white stripes. It doesn't look too bad. I think this kit is actually... Just up there with the home kit. If I give the home kit an 8, I'm going to give this a 7. I don't like it as much as the home kit, but I do think it's still very much better. It's getting, I'm warming up to this kit also. This could become a historic kit for us. Uh, the All three of them kits could become a historic kit for us. Since a lot of teams in the Champions League do wear yellow, uh, we might be wearing red a lot of the times, or we might be wearing this green kit. Not a lot of people in world football wear green, so we might be wearing a lot more of this green kit than we do the away home, uh, the away yellow kit. And yeah, I'm not too bad. I, I I don't think it's too bad. I like this one a little bit better. I'm gonna give it a seven. But overall, I think Adidas did not do the best they could. They've done better in the past. They've had better kits in the past. 
but with the with this with the yellow uh red and and green kits we're gonna look like a we're gonna look like a stop sign that's that's the reality we're gonna look like a stop sign these are the three kits and it has been confirmed uh by many people in social media that these are going to be the three arsenal kits for next season i'm not gonna lie to you guys two out of the three i'm okay with I personally would only confirm to buy one of them because last season we were blessed. Last season we were blessed. If if you guys don't know, last season we were blessed. This kit right here, the black kit, is probably one of the best kits Arsenal have ever, ever, ever released. Ever. I think this is arguably the best kit Arsenal have ever released. But right here, this 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 trio of kits. Adidas, massive drop off, massive drop off, from the black kit to this, it's a massive drop off. It is what it is. Sometimes, sometimes you can't get exactly what you want in, in life in every case. But let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Just once again, just to go through it, this is the home kit, and it is to commemorate the Invincibles. Uh, and to be honest, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Genuinely, from the bottom of my heart, it's not too bad. I generally do like it now. I'm starting to get. I'm starting to get my mind around to the idea of this being the home kit for next season. And I've and I've decided I'm going to give it an eight out of ten. Um, when it comes to the yellow kit, I don't think I'll ever get myself used to this kit. I will still need to see it with the players on, but I'm never really going to get myself used to this kit. I think this is a horrific kit. It doesn't look that good. I'm not a fan. Um, I hate to just look at it. I'm going to give it a five. It, people in the comment section, let me know. Do you guys even rate this kit? Oh, gosh. Okay. And then finally, the final rating of the day. I gave the other one an eight. I'm going to give this one a seven. This is going to be most likely the color. Most likely, this is going to be the color. Hmm. I'm not a fan either. I'm not a fan either, but I need to see more. I need to see more. This could this could turn me around if it's a little darker. So if it's a darker shade, could be perfect. Could be, could be just a little bit. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. We're out of here, and I'm gonna play a clip of me and Gunnar Lee and the boys also talking about it. If not, make sure you do hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to check out the video that me, Gunnar Lee, and everybody did on uh, earlier with the panel show. And if you haven't already checked out the other video that I did where the Liverpool fans were complaining about Arsenal getting lucky this season and Boovy also complaining about Arsenal, go check it out. There's two videos playing here and here. Uh, so please do check out that. And if you want to subscribe, subscribe to the channel. The icon should be there. Have yourselves a wonderful, wonderful day. I'm out of here. You got on EGTV. We're out, people. Don't forget to hit that like button while you're at it. Peace.